Welcome to our guide on how to be a sports hater. If the mere mention of touchdowns, dribbles, or home runs make you cringe, you've come to the right place. Get ready to embrace your inner cynic as we dive into the world of sports armed with wit and sarcasm. Sports, the great unifier of nations, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. Or so they say. But fear not, dear viewer, for we shall navigate the treacherous waters of sports fandom with our heads held high, our chest out, because that's how we say it, and our disdain even higher. Step one, understand the basics. To be a true sports hater, you must first, first, familiarize yourself with the jargon. You want to be genuine. You want to be authentic. You want to be not necessarily one of a kind, but one of many. So terms like slam dunk, hat trick, and Hail Mary may sound foreign, but with a little research, you'll be able to scuff at them in no time. Step two, master the art of eye rolling. A critical and crucial skill for any sports hater is the ability to expertly roll their eyes at the mere mention of sports. It's gotta be off the cuff. It's gotta be something that comes natural. It's gotta be something that you don't have to think about. If that's not the case, guess what? You can practice in front of the mirror until you can achieve a maxed out level of eye rolling that rivals even the most passionate sports fanatic, they'll appreciate it. They'll give you a standing ovation. They'll give you some flea claps. But if you ask for more, like a small violin being played, it might be asking for too much. Step three, develop a repertoire of witty combats. Sports enthusiasts love to engage in banter. So it's essential to have a few clever retorts up your sleeve. Remember, sarcasm is your best friend in this endeavor. Um, if you understand it. If you don't, I suggest you fake it till you make it. And if you never make it, keep faking it. Step four, embrace alternative activities. Where have you heard that before? Where have you heard this before? Don't answer that. It's rhetorical. While sports fanatics or fans are busy cheering for their teams, you can explore a world of hobbies that don't involve balls or goals, from knitting to bird watching. The possibilities are endless and I just gave you two. Step five, organize a sports hater support group. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who share your disdain for sports can be a great source of comfort. You don't need that comfort blanket. You don't need that comfort animal. You got this group where you can laugh together. You can celebrate your indifference and exchange witty antecedents. Step six, remember it's just a game while we make jest and mock and have hee hee jokes and ha ha funny jokes let's not forget that sports brings joy and unity to many so as you continue your journey as a sports hater do so with a pinch of salt and a dose or dash of good humor and there you have it the art of being a sports hater armed with wit and sarcasm. You can navigate the world of sports with ease and perhaps even find amusement in fans. Sports fans, that is. So go forth, embrace your inner cynic. I still don't know what that means. And remember, it's just the game. Cheers or salut to being a sports hater where the real victory lies in the art of mockery. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time.